Based on the empty circle property, we could relate the Delaunay triangulation to a concept that we've seen before, the Voynich diagram. Consider a set of points P. From what we know, the Voynich diagram is a decomposition of a plane into regions, such that all the points in one region have that point as its, as its closest point. So in this picture, all the points inside this cell have this side as its closest point. If I pick any point in the region, the closest neighbor of set of blue points is that point. So how do we go from a Warner diagram to the line triangulation? We go through a concept known as a dual graph. We have seen geometric duality, but we have not seen graph duality. The duality uh, here is defined with respect to only planar graphs. So let me do a quick drawing. Assume I have a planar graph. Um, say something like this. So a planar graph also decomposes the plane into a bunch of regions. So to obtain the so uh, every point here is a vertex here. To obtain a dual of this graph, of this planar graph, first what we need to do is to place one point for every cell or for every region in this diagram. So I put one vertex for the outside region, I put one vertex for each one of these regions. It doesn't matter where, just somewhere inside. And two regions are connected with an edge if they are adjacent. So this outside region is adjacent to pretty much everything. So I put edges from this vertex to all the vertices. And then um, this region is only connected to this one. So this will be the dual graph of the planar graph that I just drew. You can easily verify that the dual of a planar graph will also be a planar graph. And um, the dual of a dual will also go back to the original graph. So how is this graph duality useful? It turns out that if you just go by the graph duality, the concept of the line of triangulation and the uh, Warner diagram are completely related. So let's go back to the Warner diagram. Remember that uh, I could the Warner diagram was a planar graph except with the minor difference that there are some infinite edges, which we knew how to take care of by putting a big bounding box. So ignore the fact that these edges are infinite. So remember that to obtain a dual of a graph, of a planar graph, first I need to place one point as a vertex that represents that face inside every face. Well, we already know that there exists one point inside every face, and that is the original input points. So we don't have to do that at this step. It's already there. The next thing we need to do is to connect two uh, faces if they are, if and only if they are adjacent. So for example, in this picture, these two faces are adjacent, so they will be connected. These two will be also connected. These two will be connected. But this face will not be adjacent to, is not adjacent to this one, so those, don't, they will not be connected. By continuing doing this, we obtain this graph. It turns out that this graph will be a triangulation and it will in fact be the Delaunay triangulation. We're going to prove this next.